Hey there, everybody. We are playing the immortal Zimovitz. Thank you to all the people who will view only this video, given that I'm playing someone far greater than me. So it's uh, for Twilight Solomon's little data gathering exercise in whether or not random plus three uh, is USA plus three a fair bid these days. Um, let's get online because I'm sure he's ready and waiting for me. Um, as he said, he's hoping for a USA plus four tournament at some point. Uh, so yes, uh, I'm only playing one of the greatest players in the world. Uh, basically, if this ends in a bloodbath, and let's not get too political, but let's go contemporary, if this is anything like the day in politics in the Brexit cabinet bloodbath, uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Um, so I've been kicking around with a couple of other great players, like Last Chance Z, um, what kind of opening setup for plus three is typical or acceptable? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, I have already won the lottery of life by being USA, <laughs> but I still don't like my chances. Um, so the consensus is 4-4, four, 4-3-2 four, four, and 3 in Iran. Um, which invites the Italy coup. I at least have socialist government. Uh, Suez and de Gaulle are another risk factor. Um, dumping... Asia scoring is risky because of uh, decol or Vietnam revolt. Um, special relationships a little bland, but at least helps bolster France. So let's go with that to start, at least. All right. So Asia scoring, but Vietnam revolts and decol are both a risk. Um, special relationship. I mean, the UK can't get hurt. So I can put another one in France, which at least then means he needs to use a four-op card if he does play De Gaulle. He can't De Gaulle duck and cover. So we'll do that, fearing Vietnam Revolt. Um, I'm, it's a 45-minute game, so I'm going to try card tracking. He does De Gaulle, so things could be worse. Um, so I'm going to put the extra one in France, which means he needs to use a four-op card. And then, of course, I do still have realigned potential. Um, so I expect to see a coup of Italy or Iran here. He'd rather not use the China card to take France, so the question is whether or not he has NATO or Purge. He now can't use Duck and Cover, which is one advantage for me. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, like I said, I'm certainly not expecting miracles here. Making it final scoring will do me. Uh, even making it through the early war, because really, there's going to be a lot of Humpty Bumpty. <laughs> and, you know, like an Olympian training for this event, have I been studying his playbook like Caruana? Have I, heck? I've just had a really greasy meal of chicken thighs. Uh, that's the best case result for me. I can shore up Italy and France for domination. He'll be vexed. He rolled a two there. Uh, so I'm holding, I'll, I can blockade socialist governments. Obviously I'll... Uh, yeah, I mean, do I take it out of Yugoslavia rather than Finland? Yeah, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to be crassly tracking cards. Boy, oh boy. He's doing what he can to help me. Uh, yes. 
Looks fine. Uh, so at least the coups are going my way, but I'm going to need still more help than that to beat the best in the world. So he'll take one last coup. He'll probably try for a run again. Especially if he has indo pack War. And I'll be inventing... Oh, I got CIA first, the swine. So he does have indo pack. He's got decol and D-style. Holy moly. The mother load. Okay, so... If I coup, which I should do for Milops, he puts the one into Afghanistan. So he's going to be decalling and de-stalling when he gets the DEFCON down. That's nicely played by him. Um, it's crap, but do I cure rock for my one mil op? I think I do. So he has the D's Indo pack. He's got Truman, which isn't going to be much use for me. All right, I'm going to take the coup for one mil op and deny him another crack at Iran. Oh, almost a six. Of Enfidel, because we know about D style and we know about D coal. I expect D coal here to break some stuff up. So we use blockade, discarding socialist governments to shore up Thailand. Major is currently scoring one. I'll put the two for our Israeli war into Egypt. He's going to take his one in three. Oh, brutal! I'm going to have to gamble on Arab-Israeli war. He succeeds at that as well. So if he... He has to use D-Star for ops to block Asia, so... I just have to hope that he doesn't win Korea more as well. Um, that turned out to be a pretty good turn one for him. It would have been different had uh, indo pak war not gone down that way, but, you know, you can't control for these things. That is life. Would that that were different. Uh, I don't get Suez Crisis. Duck and Cover seems like the most attractive. We'll be expecting a D-style at some point.
He's two Ezing. Fairly standard. In that situation, unfortunately, NATO allows him to take France. We've got Purge. Yeah, so that's to be expected. The question is whether I want to operate him. Or not. Hmm. <coughs> right, so... Priorities. Middle East only scores a point. I've now lost France. I have Warsaw Pact. So I could always try pumping East Germany. With Comic Con gone as well. Uh, I'm just going to dump Middle East scoring, which may be a mistake. And we'll see what he does in Europe. That's probably rather bland and pathetic. At some point he's got to D-style and he's going to be busy then. Pushing into Africa. So, I don't have a lot of space desire, which is annoying. There's still a lot of high op cards out. Um, he's still got potentially Containment Marshal NATO still to come. Breaking France at the end of a return seems most attractive. So do I push elsewhere, is the question. <clears throat> I'm going to put one into Iraq to make sure I don't lose all presence in Asia. In and I'm going to put one into Panama. I feel it's quite bland at the moment. I don't feel like I'm setting the world on fire. So he's definitely got me in a tiz over what's best. He goes for space. Fine. I want to kind of give Cambridge 5 up quite late in the day, really. But I also can't give him Romanian abdication. Hmm. Do I... I mean, you and Ench mentioning Romanian abdication is quite a cop-out. But as cop-outs go... It means it's out of my hands and he has to event it unless it comes back to me. It's a good way of dumping it. I'm going to put that one in Taiwan, and I'm going to put Cambridge 5 into Taiwan to shore up against the Korean War, because that would be a pretty big bloody disaster. Did 
Tiffany's not been racing for domination. I don't think he has Europe scoring. So I also don't really want to play Cambridge 5. Because I don't want to, you know... Now, oh, there we go. Fair enough. So I have to respond to that. So I can at least do. So I expect he'll play in Turkey now. I mean, I have to show up Italy again against socialist governments coming back in turn three and Lang just to walk in. Which is a little irritating. But he hasn't got NATO, so that's a good reason to event Warsaw Pact. Because if he gets it in turn three, it becomes less palatable to play. But I also have to get ready for Korean War. I'm being asked to do too much. He knows that doesn't have you at scoring anyway. Well, oh well. <clears throat> <laughs> and I thought at the start of turn one things were looking my way. This shows. How wrong you can be when you're playing the best. Containment on AR6 seems likely. Giving up the China card. Very strong. So we'll pump France. He can't do both things. <clears throat> we know Europe's scoring is coming out. We don't know Asia is. Korean War could <laughs> put South Korea firmly out of reach for the entire game. Weird game. Weird game so far. So I got Europe scoring and I got Socialist Government. That's something. I've got Indo-Pak War and Duck and Cover. If I Duck and Cover, he retakes France. If you retake France, I can ditch Europe scoring for one. So I'm going to headline Indo-Pakistani War. He's going for the Korean War, of course he is. Can we do a straight trade? Nope. Nope. Okay. So he's got to choose between South Korea and and France. He chooses France. Yeah, but playing Japan means he can play straight in.
So I'm going to retake South Korea. If he takes India, I take Japan. He may push for Europe now and it becomes a country race. So he's played Korean, I've got five, yeah. So NATO at least activates. That's a big old coup for him. So Italy is safe from brush war. So what's he holding? Um, blah, 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 blah. He's got Marshall Plan and Containment. That's all we know he's got. So let's get cocky in Europe, shall we? No, let's not get fancy. We'll ditch Europe scoring. I'll space NASA when I get contained. So he's going to push into South America. So we will immediately get realigning. That's better than nothing. Well, Central America is a bit of a problem. He's going to keep trying. All right, so now it's time to start realigning in Central America. Better. So I will base NASA, and I don't get off the block. Uh, advantage him, early war. Fairly low score. So bear trap, coup, colonial rear guards to try and break up Africa scoring. Special relationship at the end of the turn to break France. Hold quagmire. Looks like a straightforward headline. I get purged. That's a good start for me. Do I want to do that first? Do I want to coup first? 
The problem is with purge, one stab's as good as I'm going to do. Let's eliminate his presence to start. <laughs> I shouldn't be so mean. It'll come back to haunt me. So obviously I'll now take Africa scoring for five. So he'll get the mill off. So Space Corkmire. Looks like I don't want to be missile embedded into it. End with special relationship threat in France. Obviously if he coos I take another one with kitchen debate. He may sensibly decide to push into Uruguay. Fair enough. So I expect him, I mean, yeah, I, if I were, I'd be pushing into Uruguay knowing I'm purged. We'll see. Okay, spreading his wings. So I'm going to space Cogma. Thank you very much. So where's he brushing? Highland. And he gets it. Ugh. That's a bummer. I probably should have put one in Malaysia to defend. But even then. <clears throat> so Asia's not looking mine. Is there a sensible place one op can go? I'll put one into Malaysia now, post-hoc reasoning. He denies me, permit, but I'm still going to use special relationship for its intended purpose. So what do we got here? Duck and cover's gone, so missile embers are a, a good threat. I've got nuclear subs to do stuff as well. I've got Junta. I have a, a lot of headline options. I mean, any of Junta, how I learned, missile MB are all viable. Junta drops DEFCOM. The missile MB forces him into... Let's missile MVM. So he's going for extra ops. I want his highest op card. If it's Muslim Revolution, that saves me a problem. If it's ABM Treaty, I can coup on Thailand or Pakistan. Brezhnev doesn't seem hot over ABM mines. So this time I'm spacing Liberation Sub. I have to watch out for one small step now. I need to get Central America scored well for me. Or at least not badly. I can at least use Junta 
the top two in Brazil or Venezuela. So he gives me Asuri, which gives me China. He still has Chinese Revolution to take it back. He's going to let me have the coup. With fail. So he'll push into Brazil. So I'll need to coup Colombia to protect. I need to remember to take Mexico at some point. Uh, not the China card, please and thank you. Shield against realignment. Unfortunately, I don't have any three op cards. <clears throat> so, if I can't retake Iran promptly, I need to then use the bloody China card on Iran, which is a bit of a waste of the China card. But I feel like, against such premium opposition, I'm being constrained into making disgusting suboptimal plays. So Junta's gone, Missile Envy's gone. We've still got... Brush has gone. We've still got Salt and ABM to make an appearance. So loans come and gone. I'm going to take, I mean, ugh. I mean, Iran's gross because of Muslim revolution, which he doesn't have, but I need to be ready to push back on. I've got to let him have South America scoring. But I have to watch out for that Columbia Rio line. There's Asia. Boom. So he's going to rack up a few points here if he's got South America as well. I level up Central America. He spaces DOA. So I space liberation theory. That's good. <clears throat> Central America, then Cambridge 5 to finish the turn. What's my AR7 crisis? Okay, so he gets his mill off. Fine. Central America scoring. He might try the evens realign on Venezuela. So the board's looking very red. <laughs> and CIA's gone, so not many DEFCON suicide risks. That's just an unending delight. Yeah, so I'll coup Columbia again one last time. And that's the end of this turn. It'll be lucky if I make it to final scoring after all, but then, you know, you play the best. Grain sales, the obvious uh, option here. That brings his hands down to seven cards, but he's got no death on suicide risk, so it doesn't really matter, and he could always... Oh, I've got control resolution, so that's on me. But grain sales is still the de facto um, play here. There's nothing else close to being appealing. He's decalling. I'll take the coup. 
I'm taking it in a one stab area because I think my chances in South America are slim. I suppose another play would have been salt, but there's no salt ABM combo. Plus the real line on France is not great now, he's 3-3. Three, three. Golly gosh. Everywhere I look, I am in mortal danger. So we'll see what he does with his decal. Gives me 2vp. I give him OPEC for nothing now, obviously. So where, oh where, are my priorities on a board like this? We know that I've got Muslim Rev. So if I do something like that, it puts maximum pressure on him. It was nice to get rid of OPEC for nothing, certainly. Southeast Asia for a boatload of points. So I'm going to space South African unrest and hope to get to the two square, which I do. Small mercies. Since I know I want to hold Muslim Revolution, I've got to use the China card and then give him a point for Culture Revolution. Don't like handing the China card back. Don't seem to have a lot of choice. Okay, so Middle East breaks even. So I guess the question is, where are my ops best spent now? Do I take, I'll take South Africa first, because of Portuguese Empire? That's not a bad result for him. Is there anything I want to salt at the end of AR7? Brush war, death gone goes high. I don't feel there's anything to salt. Nothing that jumps out. I'm going to use it to flip and go, ah, oh, but I know about Portuguese Empire. And the Portuguese Empire's not been, has it? No. Seems like a really stupid thing to do right now. And Sadat does before NASA. But at this point, I again don't read him for South America scoring. Sort of delicious 0% Heineken here. This break brought to you, but not paid for, by... An alcoholic honeycomb, which basically tastes of shandy. So now I'm going to spend salt flipping Egypt, and I know that Sadat takes it, takes it, but that'll do. And I'll use OAS to break Chile and Argentina in case we can drop South America for neutral. So 
instead of overprotecting. So I get ABM Treaty. I can UN Intervention Muslim Rev, which is nice. AFP scoring me sod all. ABM Treaty seems like the natural opener. Although I suppose Defectors is good too. He takes the QI coup back. Maybe defectors. Go with that. Good. Avoid the quag. So he gets a coup and then I can ABM treaty to get a coup back. He's holding South America scoring, we know that. So the question is whether he power coups Venezuela. So he's uh, racing to a win on war games or final scoring. I don't have a great deal of. I mean, I need to try and get the China card off him once more, because I think Defcon's the only way I'm going to beat him at this point. So he takes influence, which is except expected. I'm going to power coup Brazil. Big, big roll. Needed that. So I can space Portuguese Empire crumbles and coup Angola if I want. Which is another option to get another thing on my side. Europe's not on my side and I'm about to play Romanian abdication. Although maybe I want to space socialist government and go for another target in. Okay, overprotect. That's fine. So I'm going to space socialist government. Fail. No headline peaking for me. If I give him Romanian abdication, I put one into Canada to level up. I mean, I'm going to do that, we know. Alliance of Progress is only netting me three VPs. Sorry, I'm not used to doing this on a laptop. Didn't mean to zoom in. Formosa is not really much use for me, given that he can go 4-3 up in country count, even with Taiwan. I mean, indo pack war is, or brush war is needed. So it's a question whether or not he'll get fancy in South America or just dump it for nothing. So he flips Angola. Going in six right now. Do I flip it back and then ABM a place? Seems reasonable. Although well, Alliance takes me back below war games threshold. So I have a 50 50 chance of controlling Algeria which then allows me to try and flip Nigeria if I want. So I'm going to decline the three points, flip Nigeria and hope to power coup Angola with ABM. In which case he may rush to ditch Africa scoring, although I'd have played it by now if I were him. The extra VP doesn't mean a lot of difference when he's ahead of the war games count. But we can do a bit of back and forth.
Oh boy. So, what's next? We'll pop another couple in Iraq. We know we're not going to see Muslim Revolution come back. Summit can then take Iraq. Boy, I do not like my chances. Let's put it that way. I'll take a rock as well. The remaining application becomes a trade for Canada. And then I decide where to coup with ABM Treaty. There's an attraction to cooing Libya and trying to press for overall control. But the Iranian hostage crisis is about to come out. So, not so much. So he gets his mill ops. It takes five ops to level up. So we'll just do the bland. I'm going to save my ABM treaty for AR7. So I made it to lay war with Z. But holy moly. Do tell me all the places I probably went wrong, although I am going to solace myself as I'm up against the best. I don't want to discard ABM Treaty, thank you very much. Um, so my, my aim is to dodge war games and to try and make it to final scoring even though I'll lose there. Yeah, so he solidifies Asia. So where is a coup best played? Or is it trying to press to level up Asia? I've got my mill ops. Yeah. One op to before he gets there. So I've got grain sales. I space the reformer. Although, of course, war games is a risk now. So I need to play special relationship at some point. So let's shorten his hand, if nothing else. That's quite, I mean, as, as it as it goes, it's not, not a nasty hand. I've got Ortega before I'm in Cuba. Purged again. What a delight. Uh, so if I play the event, he gets a coup, and he's got scoring cards for war games anyway. So I'm not going to get the middle to play arms race anyway. I'm going to play the event and try and keep him below the scoring threshold for as long as possible. I need to put one op into Japan to level up country count. But then he just plays Middle East scoring. So I'll probably play Arms Race 1 into Jordan, 1 into Japan for my AR1. He has so many options. So many options. It is comical. Could be worse. So, one into Japan to level up, one into Mexico to level up. What he just did is damage. At least Asia's currently neutral. I'll be using Special Relationship on France for the umpteenth time as well this turn. And also John Paul. So 
So we use Ortega to get domination in the Middle East. What's puppet government going to do? One in Czechoslovakia, I guess. Okay, well, that's less than ideal. So let's pop one into Israel. But Iranian hostage crisis flips Iran, so let's not get too excited. So he's not asking me to discard a card, but we are going to very slowly edge our way up. Obviously I want to space the reformer and peek at headlines. Okay, so that's something. And then special relationship and John Paul to finish off and threaten Europe a little. I'll expect him to shore up Poland pretty much instantly. Um, I'm over a bit of a barrel. So we'll at least give him the choice of what to do there. And then special relationship keeps us at six overall because I've not got any mill ops this turn. Although I suppose I could just using puppet governments to coup for one VP of Milov left still puts him in wargame territory. I get two action turns, that's nice. So I'll put two in. And we'll put another one in because puppet governments isn't worth a great deal to me at this point, I don't think. Lightly's got Middle Eastern scoring, and I'm ahead on space, so I get Star Wars play. I've got Voice of America and Terrorism. I mean, that's an amazing hand at this point. The question is, how much damage can I do with it? I can't play Missile Envy because of Duck and Cover and um, Cal. So Voice of America and a Star Wars Voice of America looks quite appealing. Although that gives him a coup. So he's Iranian hostage crisis-ing me. So what can Star Wars bring out? Star Wars can bring out Purge. The double VOA is also attractive. We've got Eastern European unrest to threaten Europe. Ooh, lots to think about. Although now I know Missile Envy, I suppose. Force him to play a worse card and may get Cal. I've got all the time to play VON Star Wars unless the Aldrich aims me before they, they come out. I may get Glasnost or something like that. If I get Cal, that's great, and I can pump it all into France. Cal's pretty ideal, really. I guess. Thatcher the Betrayer. Happy days. He'll take France back. So I will get the coup. Where do I wish for it? Given I have Middle East scoring, I'll take it in Libya. Less than ideal.
So now I know, thanks to drawing war games and only by sheer luck, I'm going to make its final scoring. So Eastern European unrest at least does some damage in Europe. So we're going to Star Wars VOA because I'm sure that's going to upset him. And that's really the only reason I'm doing that at this point. I also kind of want to see Salt go before I actually give up Wargames proper. Although at least if I take South Korea with three all-in country counts. So you have to use the Chinese card. I'm going to pump Wargames into North Korea. So I'm going to hold terrorism. For the next turn. He ditches Asia. Which means, of course, now, Middle East scores in his favour. That's a bummer. I'm going to play Eastern European Unrest now, put the wind up in. I'm guessing that's scoring me nothing. Yep. And then we're going to break Libya in the hopes that he can't respond AR7. Well, at least I get to use it for a not intended purpose. So he does get the points. Well done him. I've got Africa scoring, which is kind of gross. I can at least try tear down this wall. As well as terrorism. And I've got Chernobyl. If I Chernobyl Europe this round, I can try pushing for control. Can't I? And that's absolutely the best way of winning at this point. <laughs> if I can get European control out of him, he'll be gutted. You can see my hand, obviously, Aldrich aims. I'm great here. Alright, let's do it. The Europe Gambit begins. He should use that one off. Oh, he can't to overtake Europe, of course. So I've got Tear Down This Wall, Glasnost, and Flower Power, and the China card. He can order it, James, me, but I need to do it before AR6. And what's he got? The Reformer's gone. Comic-Con could come to the rescue. Oh, man, I played with Wisebar and he did that to me. It was glorious. <laughs> that would be so good. And he can still sort wall games, don't get me wrong. Um, I would need to then space Che or something like it. So no Comic-Con is a prerequisite. 
And then how many ops do I need? I need two to break France. And then another five to go 15, 12, seven. Three for East Germany, 10. Two to break Poland and six more. Eight. So I need 18 ops. Four, eight, 12, 15, 17. Oh boy. It's going to be very close and I'm probably not going to do it. So I may rely on tear down this wall realignment. So what's the other option? The other option is try and seek domination in enough other countries. Ah, yes, but the China card flipped. Asia. So that's not going to work. So that's enough to do ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. going to be so ridiculously tight. I really don't think I can do it. So he's doing the math too. 10, 11, 12, 13 with flower power. Fourteen, fifteen. Tear down this wall and Shea for East Germany. All right, now it's time to do the math. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 from. Tear down this wall. Shea for East Germany. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's do it. It's going to be so close, I'm not sure I've done the math right. Chernobyl reading operations points by playing influence, so now I tear down this wall. And I go for a coup. That was so lucky. So I need eight ops, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight. Che, Africa to end the game. Could still win it on Milops and Africa scoring actually. I need to ditch Africa scoring now. They may still do it. Hopefully he's disheartened, time pressured, and doesn't realise that. But a smart person to break Africa now. Man, that game turned out to be closer thanks to the uh, Chernobyl Gambit, but I mean, Z deserves to win. So even if I don't pull this out of the hat, he's played Sterling and he would be unlucky to face otherwise.
So if you keep DEFCON high, 18 points, 19 if you break South Africa. So he needs to find another point somewhere. So he's hit South Africa scoring now. Although maybe I should have used my spare op to play in South Africa. Ah, gross. Now let's be sensible about this even though it doesn't matter, I don't think, and play the China card first. It's going to be one damn op short. But does he have a card that gives me mill off? Unlikely. Does he have a card that drops DEFCON? Possibly. I think he's going to win by a single point. And because of that, presumably my South Africa Africa dumping thing was an error, because I could have put one op into it and still ended up in this situation. <clears throat> oh, even better. So he wins. He didn't earn it, he deserved it. So that was fun, playing the best in the world. Anyway, do tell me what you saw. I know more people will have watched this thanks to one of the best players in the world playing me. Uh, and I'm sure I did some laughable, heinous things. So once again, the man is trying to improve on his already, already brilliance. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> anyway, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed watching. We're just talking crap. We'll go and tell Solomon that, uh, yes, even as USA Plus 3, I can't be the best in the world. So maybe next time we need to do a USA Plus 4 tournament. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one.